Hi guys and welcome to my latest video and it is the start of my journey I guess you could say on Lighter Life. I have got two ginormous boxes of stuff here and I guess I kind of wanted to do a bit of an introduction, talk a little bit about uh, why I'm doing uh, Lighter Life and talk you through I guess all the products that I've got to last me for the month. So some of you guys that may already follow me might already know that I've done previous diets before. Um, I did them to help me fall pregnant and the time has come where we want to try and have another baby. So I realise um, my chances are slightly diminished because I've got polycystic ovaries and unfortunately all the people, all the doctors that I've seen always say um, like losing weight helps. So as I've had quite a lot of health issues this year plus wanting to have I guess the best chance in falling pregnant again I've decided to follow the lighter life uh, lifestyle for the next five months in the hopes of losing five stone so they advertise on their website that you can lose um, on average like a stone a month so for me that's quite good and um, although um, I know it's going to be a challenge um, because it's all like meal replacement stuff but there's actually quite a large selection which I was quite um, surprised with so um, I've kind of ordered literally like several of everything just so I can uh, try all the different uh, meal replacements and then see what ones are my favourite ones and then I guess probably going forward from there I can sort of tailor make and order just the ones that I like um, and one thing I did really like is they actually have like a 14 day exchange so my plan is if I can try and have, um, I guess like one of everything in this first week uh, that I'm doing it, that obviously is seven days down and then I can gather anything that um, I wasn't a fan of um, and exchange it for like some more of the things that I did like. And I think that's really cool because I think one of the things that would have put me off um, doing it is if like you order all this stuff trying to be organized for the month and like you know you've you've got that motivation so you want to start as soon as as soon as you can and then you get the products and you you know the, the ones that you've ordered the most of you're not a particular fan of and that would be a surefire way for me to fall you know off the wagon and sort of like give up so um, I think that's a really cool sort of like 14 day grace period where you can send stuff back if it's not for you um, so um, I have been sent my lovely two packages, so let's talk a little bit about what was in there. So um, I did have a list, oh, I'll put it here. I did have a list of um, the stuff that was in my box. So I'm just gonna quickly read out all the bits. So I got um, a banana milkshake, um, a chocolate milkshake, a strawberry milkshake, and a vanilla milkshake. Then I've got a um, for oh an Anna porridge, um, which is just like their original one. Then for like the dinner stuff, I've got the classic chili, the spaghetti bolognese. Um, oh, it's all out of order. So uh, the shepherd's pie, um, and then there's a chocolate mug cake. Now I'm a bit dubious about the chocolate mug cake. I have tried several Pinterest chocolate mug cake recipes, and I didn't even like those ones. So I'm um, I'm um, I'm quite excited yet a little bit anxious to try that one just to see if I like it because that could be a huge deal breaker for me because I often always crave chocolate. Um, so fingers crossed we like those. <laughs> There's a crispy peanut bar, which sounds banging. Um, there's a nut fudge bar, a toffee bar, um, and there was another bar that I ordered. Um, chocolate and raisin meal replacement bar. Those looked so good, so fingers crossed for those. Um, a chocolate hazelnut um, meal replacement bar. And then I've got the fragrant Thai noodles, um, creamy chicken noodles. Um, and then I've got the savoury bot both the savory broth um then there's some drinks so there's the fruits of the forest there's uh, the pink grapefruit drink the sun sunrise orange drink raspberry jelly and uh the fiber mix apparently because um i had read that you know all of these meal replacements i suppose you're cutting out quite a lot of the water that's in normal foods so you have to stay quite hydrated on this diet which is great for me because um, i'm really bad at drinking uh you know like a lot of water or juice through the day so i know that will help um but the fiber mix sort of helps loosen you a little bit um so i made sure i grabbed some of that um and then some of the extra were some they had like their pop chips 
So the flavours that I got, um, I literally got one of all of them. So it was the cheddar and chutney, the um, chipotle, uh, the roasted shallot and cider vinegar, and the um, pesto and sun-dried tomato. And they all sound really good. So I think all in total, I think I had something like 150 odd um you know like single sachets so that's definitely enough for the month um like to keep me going and some of these um are like quite big like the chocolate bars and stuff so um yeah i'm really excited which is good because you know this is going to be my lifestyle for the next five months <laughs> so um let me just show you how my uh although they've been rummaged a little bit let me just show you how my boxes came and uh, so how you can expect it to arrive so these were the two boxes that i got and i just want to show you this smaller one first so there was some bubble wrap in it but i've just taken that out um uh, and it's got all the different um all my different like light bites in here now um these are recommended to only have twice a week um when you're using these as to keep you in ketosis so that you can carry on maintaining uh losing weight otherwise if you have too many of them um like you you won't get very good results um and obviously um i was a little bit over ambitious when i saw that um i could have pop chips um so i'd ordered loads but i will of course only now be having like two maximum and i guess i might just treat these like if i'm desperate so that i don't fall off the wagon um and sort of like destroy my progress um i could just have a packet of these so um these are the lighter bites or light bites rather and i must admit the flavors sound really nice so um they are um soya and chickpea these ones are um 94 calories they're high in protein and they're gluten free and they're vegan uh for anyone that was wondering but um it doesn't look like you get too many in there but i guess you you know treating it as a little snack this should just get you by if you're if you're feeling like you want something naughty and everyone likes crisps when they're feeling naughty so uh these were all the lighter bites that i got and then we can move on to this big box um if i just take this out so i have had a little rummage it came a lot more nicely impacted than this um but i've just sort of been getting bits out and um, having a look at them so um this is what i guess like a typical um like sachet would look like if i put it here so um this particular one is the porridge um there's like instructions on the back with um how to make it up and you know like the various different ways that you can make it um here at the top um, and this is obviously one that could be had um, like for breakfast so we've got porridge there's obviously um, a lot of duplicate stuff in here so bear with bear with there will porridge this is the shepherd's pie mix which I'm not gonna lie actually looks really nice <laughs> um, and I must admit one of the things that I'm quite excited about is obviously I don't have to worry about any measuring I don't have to worry about anything it's just all in here and I just have to add water so um, I think it'll be really good for me for portion control because that's something I actually always suffer with like I always have um, like too big a portion so I'm just trying to get all my shepherd's pies away so um, now <laughs> This one is a spaghetti bolognese. Now, I, d I don't know why I've got such high hopes for this because I know it's not going to taste anywhere near as good as my bolognese that my Sicilian father taught me how to make. But um, because, you know, it's carby, like, well, it's not carb, but, you know, like, pasta in my mind is carby. So, you know, by having this, it will just feel like an everyday meal for me. So I've ordered quite a lot of these. So um, I'm really hoping that I like these. I love that you can obviously do it in the microwave so it's super easy for me at work my plan is to kind of like um plan what i'm going to have ahead of time and then just take the sausage and just put them in like a little jiffy bag i don't know why i'm doing that for jiffy bag but you know what i mean um and and take these and put them in a jiffy bag so then i've got like monday's bag tuesday's bag and i it's literally a no-brainer i just go into work and then i already know what like what i've allocated myself so we've got the spag bowl these are more porridge so these are quite quite big there's quite a lot in there so this is the um chocolate milkshake 
Um, now I'm not a huge fan of like um, chocolate ice cream or chocolate milkshake, but um, I thought this would be kind of cool if I ended up like, especially this one and the vanilla one, like you can put um, like um, a teaspoon of coffee in it or something and then like some ice and whiz it up and that could be kind of like a bit of a mocha coffee or a, like with the vanilla one obviously like a vanilla coffee like that could be really nice so I thought that could be um and like I personally don't really like coffee I'll have a latte with loads of milk which of course I can't really have on this plan well, I can't really have it I can't have it <laughs> so um maybe um that's another way that I can kind of get myself a little bit of a hit because mixed in with like this sweetness like I might find it's okay I know you can have um like sweetener and stuff as long as it's like the candorel or like the little um pill pipette one that you put in pipette that's not even the right word you guys know what I mean so that's the chocolate one ship pie we've done these Aha! This one is the classic chili. Now, once again, I'm not gonna lie, I actually, that actually looks really appetizing to me. Like, I appreciate it might look appetizing to everyone, but that looks like quite stodgy. So, I, like, that's gonna be really filling for me. Like, when I come home, um, all I'm just really hoping that it's not too spicy. Um, although that would also help me drink lots of water. So maybe I do want it to be spicy. <laughs> um, got so much stuff. Ah, okay. So here is like the vanilla one. Obviously, like we've got a strawberry Ooh, and a banana one as well. So they're all they're all in here. Okay, so this is the fiber mixed drink, and it comes in like this big um, container. I think I've got two of these. So I can have one at home and one at work. Um, and it, once again, it just tells you um like all the mixture how much you can use and how much you can make but hopefully this will help me use the loo if i get a bit backed up using these products um this is so um there's a couple of things that are unlimited extras that you can have so as well as um all the drinks that i'm going to show you in a second you can have the raspberry jelly um which i plan on probably having either one or two a day um purely because i'm used to bigger portions and if these are technically like free i'll make myself two jellies and i actually bought let's reach and grab it these two little pots um they were like a I think two pound from um Wilco's so that I can make up two little jellies like in the morning when I get to work and then by the time like I think they take about four hours to set I think I read and um, you just have to mix it with uh, 125 ml of um boiling water and then uh, 125 ml of cold water um which is perfect because these are 350 milliliter ones um and then it needs uh, like four to five hours to set although this one's leaking i think um yeah there's a hole in that one be careful <clears throat> let's move that to the side and the um the savory broth is um also unlimited so that's another quick and easy like can chuck that in a mug and then like give that a drink especially with like the colder days as well now that's coming um this will be perfect just as a like something if i'm feeling peckish and i want to wait before i have one of my meals um and yeah so if they're that could also be something i have in the evening as well so that's cool then these are kind of like a bit of like a pot noodle mugshot-esque type thing and i'm not gonna lie that also looks so i'm just gonna focus you gonna focus for me I just think that looks banging. That looks so good. So um, I hope that tastes just as good. Um, but creamy chicken noodles, flavour fast pop, that is right up my alley. So um, I really hope I enjoy that one. And then this is the other one of its kind, which is the fragrant Thai noodles with lemongrass. So um, that's a bit of a faux Chinese in my mind. So looking forward to trying those. And then... Um, these orange drinks are also free on the extra so these are sunrise i'm just gonna focus sunrise orange flavored drink and then there is i know i ordered some pink oh that's more raspberry jelly there should be like some pink um pink grapefruit ones in here as well there they are. a pink grapefruit one to try that's Oh, we've got the bars, the bars I'm most excited for. 
so one of the things just moving everything so one of the things that i um that i often crave and um, just get them ready while i'm talking is um chocolate especially when it's that time of the month and you know i just i'm feeling peckish or i, w I know i want to be naughty so i believe um i believe that's the four how good does that look when it focuses yeah that's a bit of me that is milk chocolate uh chocolate raisin and this is a meal replacement bar so this one i could actually have as um a meal so um i believe i read on there if it's over like 150 calories then these ones you could have as a meal so i could potentially have that for dinner or for lunch um as is this one the chocolate hazelnut now i'm not sure i'm gonna like this one because it looks like it's dark chocolate but um i'm gonna give it a go um otherwise i didn't realize it was dark chocolate this one may probably go back um but obviously i wanted to try everything because then i can tell everyone about everything then you've got this one which kind of it kind of feels like a hardened square if you guys ever had those like marshmallow squares but um i love peanuts so um i think this will feel really naughty or especially have like this one or this one with like a cup of tea so um um i've got the crispy peanut one and then this is a uh nut fudge bar i think i've got one more let me have a look there should be one more or am i just going great there you go i knew there was one more um because i was like oh where's the toffee one um and then there's a toffee one as well so i'm super excited and these ones were, could be had as a snack um now i i'm not sure how many like recommended these like bars and stuff during a, um, like in a day uh like i recommended but um i've clearly got a lot of reading to do um their website um has got like a members area once you sign up so um i'm kind of excited just to have a read and see what everyone's thoughts are but that is pretty much all the stuff that i'm going to be eating for the next month so I thought I'd share with you guys my before pictures in this video and um, just tell you what some of my measurements were as I think it's always nice to see like if you're going to be following my journey or if you're thinking about doing it yourself. I've had a look on YouTube and I couldn't see too many people talking about it and like following their journey. Someone like myself who is quite large, you know, going to lose all that weight hasn't documented it. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of show you guys what I look like from the start. And hopefully by uh, at the end um, of the five months, I'll probably do another YouTube video and then we can do like a before and after. But in the meantime, I know I'm going to be posting on my Twitter. Um, I'm going to be posting on Instagram and I'll probably be posting on uh, Instagram stories. So um, I'm probably going to be using the hashtag Light to Life Lucy. Um, so um, I'll leave all the links down below so that if you want to, if you're watching this and I've probably maybe started my journey already and you kind of want to catch up and maybe see where I am or already see my progress or me talking about this, um, if you maybe click the links down below, you can sort of go to that platform and um, if I posted anything, it'll definitely, excuse me, definitely have that hashtag. So without further ado, this is my before. So my neck was 19.1 inches, my bust was 49.2 inches. I've put my muffin top in, now don't laugh, this is something that um, I found grew as I got bigger and put on more weight and it's something that I've always noticed when I'm losing weight can kind of fluctuate first. So I know this is an area that I should see some weight loss fairly quickly um, while I'm losing weight. So I wanted to document my muffin top. So um, that was 55 point, uh, sorry, 54.5 inches. My hips were 62 inches. And then we've got my right bicep, which was 17.2 inches. My left bicep was 17.5 inches. You can tell which one I carry on my carrier bags in, can't you? My middle thigh on the right was 32.6. And the middle of my thigh on the left was 32.6. My mid calf on the right was 24.2. And um, on the left was 24.6. So my plan is to write down all of my meals now um, and organise all my packs just so I'm ready for the week 
um, if you would like to catch up and ensure that you follow my journey uh, you can follow my blog below Lucy loves it I'll be posting every month and just giving you an update as to like how my online chat group is going um, like in terms of like support I'll be doing that once a week um, also like maybe what my favorite food packs are uh, but all of that will be documented in my blog and I'm gonna save the next video uh, for five months down the line and hopefully it will be um, a pretty radical um, change Please feel free to follow me if you're not already following me come say hi if you're already doing lie to life And you just want another buddy we can inspire each other and keep each other going um, And share each other's hacks as well because I'm um, you know any way that I can uh, stay on this plan for for longer would be better and Yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one